thought it didn't register. Jeez, I destroyed them. And that was even before I used my second awakening. necklace oh shoot please tell me I 
Oh wait, actually no, I think I finished all the accessories. Uh yeah. Where is it? This is the ring. That's my bracelet. Ah, oh, right here. Dang, it sucks, man. I can't believe they gave me another one. Oh well. stream after work huh yeah <laughs> I absolutely do you know I'm glad that they brought this ancient dungeon uh, event like in because that gives that allows me to play on my alternative characters and you know, just re uh, pretty much remember why I liked playing them. Gives them a little chance to shine, and uh, pretty much uh, brings back the muscle memory with how I use them. your five. You did your five runs. All right, let's get out of here.
I have the rookie uh, the rookie alchemy extractor. Isn't the amateur better? I think it is, yeah. I need alchemist level three. What alchemist level? What alchemy level am I? I'm level two. Blech. I could hard I could hard press uh, the levels, but nah, it's fine. I'll just I'll just wait on it. my level up all right let's go <laughs> let's get it bam easy stuff not done two two you've done it you've done it you've done it you have not all right
That was most likely from you, uh, Nim Nim Nimic Nimic Nimic. It's Nimic, ain't it? It's Nimic. It has to be Nimic. That was Nimic, most likely. That was you, Nimic. I'm pretty sure. Yep, I knew it. <laughs> Thanks, dude. I appreciate it. And if you know anyone, um, if you let me let me try keeping my voice down because I don't want to get in trouble. Um, if you know anyone who is interested in like English speaking, you know, DFO streamers or whatever, let them know that I exist, you know what I'm saying? Awareness is the only thing I ask for. I don't ask for any like money or anything like that. But f follows are always great, but it's mainly just awareness that I'm after. I want to, you know, do the absolute most I can do for the next month for this game because I really, really would love to be it. A content creator like official like absolutely that'd be so awesome but I'll do my best to make it happen you know nothing happens unless you take action and there it is first shine and it's me And that is nice that I did get an epic on the first run. <laughs> I guess you can call it uh, birthday luck or whatever. <laughs> look at all the look at all the buff UIs on player two here. Like, there's just so much going on. So many different buffs happening at once. fast as hell. You gotta be kidding me.
so far me and um, me and blasphemy have gotten our blessings let's hope that the rest of the, the squad gets theirs as well I believe you I believe you'll get it. I believe it. Something just tells me that you might. Yeah, it could be a boss drop. You never know. That, that is true. Rose could get a boss drop and then everyone could have uh gotten something. Also my 3A went ran out. Oh well. I'm pretty sure we're gonna kill it in like five seconds. Counting now. One, two, three, four oh shit, wasn't even four wasn't even four seconds. <laughs> It was that second chunk of the uh, Summoner's 3A. Alright, last one. Let's make it count. I give it four seconds maximum and she's dead. If the awakening is active, by the time we get there, three seconds. It's, it's about to run out. Zero. One. Two. Three, four, ah, uh, well, I would say like 3.8 seconds. 3.8 seconds. Alright, Blasphemy is going to switch to his Ranger. And I am going to switch to my other satyr, Seraphonite.
<laughs> okay, let's go. You know, I wasn't even paying attention, but I didn't even realize that that was a gold card. I was just like, I was zoned out. <laughs> I was zoned out there. I didn't even realize. Well, seems Bla uh, seems Blassians is getting all of the shines right now. At this point, at this point in the meek, I, I expect it. I expect you to just use your 1A every single time we, we begin. Or you probably could be doing it just for the sake of your um, uh, your passive. Because I know I've used uh, Light Ringers before, and I know they have their, what are they called, Symphoric Feathers. And I know that when you use your 1A or your 2A, you're at max stacks immediately. So that is, there is that. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, you weren't going to use it in the beginning of the room this time? Hey, but you're showing improvement. <laughs> you used it one room after. Thank you. 
Nah, even if it even if it's my birthday, man, I don't uh, I don't care about the uh, the epics right now. If I'm with if I'm with uh, if I'm with friends, if, as long as I get one thing, I'm cool with it. Rose can't get anything for obvious reasons, but yeah, like you you and me, you and me Blasty and we already got our stuff. So at this point it's pretty much up to Namik. And Namik followed me too. That's all the more reason for um, him to get the next um, epic shine. The man's followed me. He's showing support for you, boy. So I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta make sure he gets something. And I'll make sure he does, because the next character I'm gonna bring is Rayot. And Rayot is already finished. In fact, all my characters are finished. It was just the two satyrs that I'm bringing. These are the only ones left. And then after that is, uh... After that, like, that's it. I'm just gonna help out everybody else. For as long as I have to. Before I do Pandemonium War. a ditto for that piece right now wow <laughs> uh, that's funny what are you gonna change it to um, the veteran conquest abyssal seeker or abyssal seeker maybe abyssal seeker you're already two out of three on that probably should get your third third piece right there who knows Sure, I got you. I got you, I got you. I understand and thanks thanks again thanks again uh, Rose for coming by always appreciate it. is this you oh.
Um, yes, uh, Namik, if you're still in the stream, this is a event uh, emoticon. This is an event emoticon. I forget um, where where it came from. Let me see if it tells me. Oh, it's just the uh, Agent Reaper. Um, yeah, this was a uh, definitely an emo. Uh, hey, what you call it? A um, event emoticon. Because I used to use um, Curse. I used to use this one behind Raya. But when I found out that this one was the new one, I'm like, yeah, I'm definitely using that one. <laughs> Absolutely. That is what I call a real satyr. Player two out here flexing. This one was from I have failed this city well you haven't failed the city man because you followed me and that my friend I have no idea where I was going with that but you didn't fail the city that is all that's important thank you and I'm pretty sure you're either player two or player three most likely player two why are you not dead why are you not dead why is this lacking why are you lagging what's going on here blast in Wait, is it actually you, Blassian? Wait, I can't get in. What the heck? Oh, there I am. I just realized that player three is actually one of my homies. I recognize, I recognize that, um... trying to say was I recognize that um, Explorer
guys. What kind of top is he wearing? But I like it. It's the mythology of uh, the mythology of Egypt. They always look good on uh, on male priests. Easy peasy, but unfortunately, no one has gotten an epic. Very nice, very nice people today. Well, uh, I could do some more. Maybe I'll do like one more. Cause I'm sure, I'm sure people are gonna probably come in this thing like really fast. Pause. I don't feel comfortable with my po current power level. I don't feel comfortable p carrying a full party, even with the Seder, because I like speed. So I'm probably just going to do these two people. Glassian came just in time. Well, thank you, player two. Um, I believe you are Eloli. Eloli. You know, I've, I've noticed that a lot of names, a lot of IGMs I've been seeing from people are very unique. I'm, I wonder where they actually come from. Are they like, are they randomly generated like how mine are? Very interesting names, I, I will say.
How are you not dead? Why are you not dead? Why are you not dead? Thank you. Alright, let's go. Oop, a bit a bit overkill there. Did not need to use my lightning amulet. Considering that I'm only on full epics but no mythics or like Serago gear, I would say that this is not bad at all. Could be better, of course. This, all this could be better. Like I would probably want some like plus 10 or plus 11 amplifications, but unfortunately I'm not a whale. I have, I have other shit that my money needs to be spent on. Like life. Can you get in there and die? Thank you. on the bright side this is giving me a good stock up on time guide stones Absolutely gorgeous. And you know what I just realized? I realized that there are six people watching this goddamn stream. What the heck? How can I buy gold in this game? Um, D D Y Y H H. Uh, I would probably recommend, for the sake of your account, that you do not ask that question. Because if you try, I mean, I, I mean th this, is, this is all going off of what I know. Um, hmm, how can I put this in a way that would not get you in trouble? Because uh, I know, what was that? Oh, your lighter? Oh, I thought you broke the door. Okay. <laughs> Um, well, I was about to say, I'm going to say, if you want to, if you want to get gold in the game, unfortunately, there is only one way about doing it. However, um, I don't know if it's against the rules, the obligatory rules, quote, uh, put, don't quote me on that. But I don't think it's against the rules to buy Karma Coin and sell the actual hard 
you know, Karma Coin before you actually use it. But again, don't quote me on that. I'm just going off of like what I believe is the case. It could easily be wrong. But the the general takeaway of what I'm saying is don't 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 buy gold. This isn't Nexon era anymore. Unfortunately, there's only one way to there's only one way to get money, and that's by spending money, as Dungeon said. And believe in me, there is so much truth in that statement. I did not mean to use that move. Oh, now this is gonna take a while. Oh. Yeah, in fact, if, if player, better yet, this would be a lot easier if player 2 is actually still in the, um, the stream. During the, when you press the button that allows you to use your th third awakening, during the animation before, no, you're, you're fine, you're fine, don't worry, don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. In fact, you came to the right person for this. During the animation, um when you're using your third awakening before you see like the six little you know little archangels before you see any of that reveal itself if you press the 1a button you'll probably hear like a little like a little you know harmonic chime which will indicate to you that you are uh, that you are about to use your 1a on top of your 3a So anyway, yeah, that's um, that that's that's the case. So, so next time, so when you go, so when you go in there, go ahead and like use your third awakening as usual. But before the archangels appear, press your one a uh, press your one a button. There you go. more you know insert rainbow insert rainbow here <laughs> Baby boy, <laughs> if you 
you know connections you'd be rich that is very true i do have my own personal connections but those connections are personal and i will not go about talking about it how I said this was going to be my last one, but I, <laughs> here I am bringing more and more people in here. I spend a lot to take Oculus Train of my five characters. I do Oculus as well, though I do it seven times. Assuming that I actually spelt it right, I mean, sometimes there could be like an incorrect spell check or something, but I'm pretty sure I spelt it right. Let me double check. Uh, yep, I got it right. So 
got away from my freaking second awakening and grats to whoever just got that gold card. Hey, Samatochi. Let's go. To anyone who is still here, I guess I should probably say a little bit about myself. Um, as the title may ensue, I have been streaming this game for a decent chunk of time. I think I started in August of, well, August of two years ago, August of 2019. Um, I still do stream. To this day, I still do stream just for fun. I know people have been giving me like you know donations and bits and whatnot, but I really don't care that much about that. Although it is always appreciated, mainly just because I don't really know what I can, what I can do with it for real. Like I don't know how like, cause I think with like new new people in terms of streaming, the money doesn't necessarily go directly to you. I think it goes like to somewhere else, and you have to hit like a certain milestone before you can actually start like actually receiving money. That's just what I. That's just what I was like told, but oh no, streaming is weird. I just do it for fun. I like I wanna build a community like Chewy and Aegis. I don't even I don't think Aegis even streams for real. I think he just makes DFO videos on YouTube. Um Chewy I know is a pretty well known streamer. So just wanna be in that ranks and Chewy is also one of the DFO's official content creators, so he has that going for himself. So my job is just to be on the same ranks. Maybe I'll have to make a Discord. Maybe I'll have to post more on Reddit. Who freaking knows? I'm not really a Reddit guy per, per se, but hey. I gotta do what I gotta do. Who knows? But I believe that consistency breeds results. If I keep putting myself out there, then I believe that the results will come. Um, in my favor. Oh, you think? Oh, Agus Rick st uh, stepping down. Hmm. When did he announce that? It made like I said, it probably was on Reddit, and I probably just didn't hear about it because your boy doesn't really follow Reddit for real, or any of that, or any of that, like, or any of those type of forum websites. I really don't be following that shit. You want to find something out, find out through the game itself. Ask someone on the Echo. I'm pretty sure there's some veteran out there who can answer your question. Hmm, but he's stepping down, huh? Damn. Damn. I mean, I mean, I know, I know, like his, like how how much like videos he makes or whatever ain't really like all that consistent. But you know, who am I to fucking judge? I haven't streamed in like 11 days, oh my god. Um, but yeah. Oh, that did some damage. And finish him off. Oh, he's waiting for the Knight's Third Awakening. Okay, is that his like favorite class or whatever? Look at Samatochi here, getting all the fucking luck. Probably because he's about to follow. I think that's why. I don't think I've ever partied with Aegis before. I think maybe I did in like one prey. But he was hosting like a train or whatever, and I just joined it on a whim. I don't even think he knew who I was for real. I still don't think he, he knows honestly. I know that Chewie has heard of me, 
but again it's one of those type of things where you have to be consistent if you want to be known so that's kind of what I'm going to be you know shooting for hopefully I can be able to try to stream every day but we'll see what happens given how long I go to work Aw, you left me already. Well, thank you, Sumatochi. I appreciate that. I have strong feelings for you, too. Can't say love, though, because love is weird. God, I feel so damn weak. <laughs> that would help me. <sighs> Ooh. Um, let's actually let's actually play a fun game guys so so you see my pet uh, I gave her a name because there was something that I was like thinking about um, regarding like this particular pet and it made me like chuckle so I called her CC Chan um, I will be very impressed if anyone can tell me what the CC stands for what do you think the CC stands for um, in my uh, pet's name, CC Chan. And this is a name that is exclusive for this particular pet. That's your only hint. Didn't Ch Chewy raid you a while back? Yes, he did. Yeah, oh yeah, I guess that's another fun fact. Um, che when Chewy the Goon was streaming, I guess one time when he was streaming and I was streaming, he just like raided me with a party of 13 people, just out of nowhere. I'm like, oh shit, what the heck? <laughs> and also, someone else actually r raided me too. Someone else raided me as well, like, um, I think it was like, maybe like 13 days ago. A very, a very, um, a very, uh, specific number, but it is, it is true. Uh, boxing, I'm sorry, I would love to take you, but I really need to get, I really need to take care of some pandemonium where it's like 1.15 a.m. where I am. I have two hours to do this shit. Uh, Samatochi, I am sorry, but I must leave you here, and I, again, thank you so much for, um, the future, uh, follow. And, um, Hitohru, no, the CC does not stand for Chaos Control. Good, good, good guess, but no, it doesn't stand for it. Again, the CC is about is something that is exclusive to this pet in particular. Like it's this pet and the uh, I guess you can say the lesser version. Um, I don't want to give any other hints because it'll probably it'll probably um, like re like make it too obvious. But I'll let you I'll let you keep guessing. But anyway, yeah, Samatochi, I'm going to go ahead and go to the Pandemonium War channel. I'm going to host seven rounds of Pandemonium War hard mode. You're more than welcome to join me if you'd like, but I will be seeing you. Samatochi! Thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so this one is a Pandemonium hard looking for all, and you know what? They look like they could use a big ass synergy, and you know what that synergy is? Your boy. So bring me in. See? Easy. Just like that. I know I said I was gonna host um, a train, but I just saw this party. I'm like, fuck. Let's just. They're, they're three out of four. I ain't gotta wait. It's fucking 117, exactly. It just turned 117, as I was saying that. Um, so I'm like, fuck it, let's just get this run out the way, and then bam. You know what? Oh, I have a great, I have a great game. Whoever guesses it right gets 1 million gold from me. 100% promise. That is a 100% promise from me. Whoever can guess what the CC stands for in my pet's name gets a million gold. Absolute. That's so easy. Easiest money of your, easiest money of your fucking life. 
And again, the only hint I can give you is that it is unique. This name is unique. The CC in CC Chan is unique to this particular pet. There is no other pet, unless they had a similar trait of this pet, would, uh, would I name them CC. But it's only her that I would name her CC. I got the all got all the damage. Well, that was beautiful. I thought he was gonna go invincible, and my three would have been wasted. Nope. to you. This is the worst, this is the worst part of, to me personally, this is the worst part of DFO streaming, is waiting, I hate that, I wish I had an editor to cut that crap out, just be like, oop, alright, cut to that, alright, here we are in the next dungeon, boop, 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 bam, got your stuff, alright, next, easy, but nope, unfortunately I do have to wait, so it is what it is. Oh, Rose. 
Rose, it's, it's completely fine, Rose. I, I know why you can't be here. You're completely fine. This is not a cry for help. I'm just, you know, talking. And I know, I know you got to drive your uh, three hours. Um, I feel like it's truck driving. Is it truck? I think it's truck driving, right? Um, but yeah. I don't know, like, what the road conditions are, where you are. But I know over here, it's mainly just cold. The road ain't really all that bad, but it's just, uh... A five-ton truck? You have to drive a five-ton truck? My god. I can only imagine, like, knock on wood for this, but I can only imagine, well, that's glass, but, you know, you know what I mean. I can only imagine, like, the tragedy that could happen if a truck were to, like, spill over. Like, a five, a five-ton fucking truck worth of shit. Like, oh my god. It's below freezing, so I hope I won't, it, I hope it won't be slippery. Well, I mean, if it's, if it's, if the conditions are that severe, the salt truck should be on their game right the fuck now. So I wouldn't even worry too much about that because I'm pretty sure they should have, they should be on that. I've seen worse slip off the highway last year. Well, at least it was, at least it was from last year and I guess it's not that bad this year. But still, be careful, man. That's all I can say. Oh, uh, the lovey-dovey Toby's gift. It's funny because I know that um, Neeple streamed this, and everybody was saying to <laughs> everybody was saying to select prey. Like, uh, but for some reason, uh, prey was not the prey was not the um, the person who the prey was not the admirer who gave you the gift. I forgot who it was in the stream. But the reason I'm bringing it up is because for, at least for me, the person was Isis Prey. Because based off the hint, it says that the person I'm looking for has a follower named Arthur, and Isis Prey has that male mage named Arthur, so it's him. And I guess I have to get this right seven times uh, in this day, so pretty much get it right in a week, and then bam. You get your uh, little Toby special gift to you, which is basically five level up tickets. Nice. A gift prepared by Toby's contains five Toby's EXP capsules. They are just giving you a whole lot of leveling up shit. And it's a good thing I made um, a new character. I made a new character uh, recently who's going to be my future Spitfire. Um, I named her Arose, A-I-R-O-S-E, which I guess if you like, for those who may pronounce it a different way, they may they may just look at it and be like, it's just arrows, which is kind of like a, it's kind of like a, a, a double positive, because since it's uh, going to be a future Spitfire. Spitfires are all about bow guns, and when I think of bow guns, I think, you know, bow and arrow. So, arrows. Except I spelled arrows a different way. So, you can take it as you want. Either way, I, <laughs> either way, it, it sounds nice to hear. Whether it's arrow say or arrows. I'm happy about the name.
potato. Oh, everyone has a different admirer? Oh, okay, well, I'm so glad. I don't know why. I just find it very funny. I find it very funny that an apostle... <laughs> like this particular apostle likes you enough to give you a gift like this and participate in the event. <laughs> like, oh, like, hey, like, Nate and Sigur, uh, Varach, Varach, uh, Marlene Kitska, and Chris Gardy, they all seem like normal, you know, possible choices. I just pray. Just completely, just complete left turn there, but this is a good left turn. I love it. <laughs> Absolutely freaking love it so funny and we got our Seder in very good now all we need is a DPS let's echo one more time up oh, uh, hmm hold on a minute uh, debatable 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 take good care of yourself in most of your aspects so I won't give you too much shit yeah I'll bring you but we're definitely gonna do a sword and shield Tella Rosara in uh, I guess I guess her name is Rosora. Rosora translate to golden golden rose in Latin. Oh really? I did not know that. And I just received yet another follow, most likely from somebody in my um, most likely from someone in my party right now. Pink glitter hearts, whoever you are, if you are still here, you are wonderful, and I thank you very much for your support. This is all going towards the goal of being D uh, DFO's next official content creator for their streaming platform. So wish me luck! Yeah. Also, I'm liking this damage. It looks pre it's pretty nice. Way more than I expected. Oh, that's mm, that's a that's a spicy that's a spicy type of party. All right, we're good. Just one is. One sword is all we needed. Let's continue. Riley High. Oh, that's such a cute emoji. I don't know who Riley is. Probably a really famous, uh, well, I won't say famous, but um, a well put together streamer since they have their own emojis and all that. And hello there. Good to see you.
Overwatch streamer, huh? Okay. As far as I'm concerned right now, my streams are just mainly going to be DFL because DFL is my all-time favorite game. Ugh, I just love this game so much. In fact, and this is honestly a very good thing, I haven't played League of Legends in freaking months because I just wanted to devote my time into that, and to me, that is a very, very good trade-off because League is a very toxic, toxic piss pit of a game. Still popular though. I will give it. I will give it that. But I'm cool with. Uh, I'm cool with my hiatus and many more months to come. Exactly. He's <laughs> like, ew, League of Legends. You played that shit. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Where's the boss? Oh, there you are. And you're dead. Mm, goodbye. <laughs> now we get to fight daddy. Sarbo daddy. Look at how built he is. He is established. I did was why did he, why did he do that to me? All I did was kill him. I didn't even kill him. We really just made him go like call home to his dad, and his dad killed him. See? <laughs> oh, we're oh, okay. We're that kind of party. Okay, I'll see you. Oh, let me join the party. Expecting us to be going full force. I thought we were gonna do a 70. I was not expecting that. Player two and three, they are monsters. And just so that I can prove to you guys that it was player two and three, and definitely not me, this is what I'm rocking. This shit will not carry. It can contribute, but it will not carry. I think it's player two. Wait, no, player two is the Seder. It has to be player three, then. I, well, I didn't really, like, look at the gear, gear, for real, for real. But I'm pretty sure it's player three. Ah, crap. They're gone. Shit. Well, well at least we can check out Lisa. See? Wait. Oh, wait, shit, I'm wrong. Oh, shit, it was you. <laughs> I thought... I thought player two was the satyr. I'm so stupid. Alright, let me go ahead and rehost my next one. This time I'm gonna bring in my summoner, who's a little bit stronger. Not not stronger than her, of course, but a little bit stronger than what she was prior. Like for those who remember my um my uh summoner before I made the changes I used to have just the uh, what do you call it the five light bringers and now I converted them all into mother nature's breath and I will say this is a very very nice set and I hope that it stays that way when the um, epic reworks come don't know when it's coming but it's coming I hope that they, they do not fuck this over because I spent a lot of black crystals on this shit. Do not make it worthless. Oh, that's Red Eye Dog. I, I, I recognize you. Ah, player three. We meet once more.
Yeah, I was I was wondering like why is the like why is her weapon shimmering in such a brilliant fashion? I'm seeing oh it's because it's the uh, advent of apostles thing. Guild Discord has a post in DFO chat that has a website detailing the epic slash mythic rework. Oh, really? Okay. Lunex, what's up, dude? How are you? Thanks for t coming in, man. Just a chill day today. How's the dog? Did he get his exercise? I'm like, this is a this is a party party. Like this is a real party. So I'm like, we don't need no sword and shield. <laughs> and I ain't talking about Pokemon. Um, but I mean, like, we can easily just con like skip this shit. Are you seeing this? My two A didn't even need to come up come out because they're just that strong. Freaking place. You see this? <laughs> oh, this is definitely not good for our heroes. Oh, see, see, they, they also said it's player three. That's how I know I'm right. If you get two people to say that one player is responsible for the lag, you are right. Well, all we can do is just wait and just hope that uh, the shit clears. And there goes my 3A. I mean 2A. And there goes my 1A. And there goes the rest of my summons. Fantastic. Restart the dungeon. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to do that. Shall I make you the leader to fix this PTP? Because I because I heard that that uh, that should be fine. Do oh, you think you're fine? All right. If player three says uh, that he's fine, then. I will believe it. 
Imagine a summoner, a kunoichi, and a demon knight on the same team. You know, I guess I guess the kunoichis are the closest thing to like minion related summonings that this game can offer <laughs> in terms of that class. Also, it still didn't fix the problem. Let me see. Oh god. Oh god, I'm I'm terrified. Also, yeah, if if all of them were on the same team, that would be like FPS issues off the wazoo. But you know what's funny? I have still in my seven, ten years of playing this game, I have yet to be in a full party with all summoners. And I'm afraid that that will I'm afraid that if I do that, that's going to cause this game to legitimately crash. Like actually crash, because I'm like, that's just too much shit to keep up with. <laughs> I think it just depends on the computer. Also, we're not hitting him. For some reason. Oh wait, are we hitting him now? Are we good? Okay, I can hit. I think. I got that. I think we're, I think we're good now. I think we're good now. So strange. Back in Nexon, I've had a four summoner party in Blonga's camp before his leap of death lag wasn't patched. He jumped, and you can't imagine, <laughs> and you can imagine what happened. I feel like with all the crap that's going on on the ground, he probably took a leap and just as he was coming down there's just so many multi hits happening that he just cannot actually you know register a land so he's just stuck in the air attempting to crash down but he can't because there's too many people hitting him so it's basically he's stun locked to death anyway well uh let's continue i guess What the? Why am I over here? Oh my god, that's a lot of damage. More than half of his health gone. Oh my god. Absolute beauty. Absolute freaking beauty. Oh, no gold flips on that one. Lame. Next. current best DPS at the moment, but not my best character, just my best DPS. Katie. 
you said nope everyone got one shotted oh my goodness i was not expecting that to be the result i thought the end result was that he just was stayed up in the air and he just never got a chance to land that's what i thought would be the case Ooh, Tio? Oh, Tio's here. fun also please tell me this is not a sword is this a sword did I do it again I did it again <laughs> okay I didn't even realize until ugh, I'm like, uh, I am so sorry. <laughs> I am not doing this on purpose. You, it may sound like I am, but I, I really am not. I'm so sorry. Just re remind me, remind me on the next round that we are a fucking stacked t team and that we do not need to fucking do a sword. Remind me. those emails they're very cute and thank you very much for wishing me happy birthday as well and to all the people who are wondering i am not an old guy as you can probably tell i am a nice solid age of uh, 28 at least i don't think it's all i know other people would be like ew you're 28 oh my god you're old 
Why don't you go read the newspaper and talk about politics, you old man? Fucking millennials. That's totally, that's pretty much my nephew in a, in a nutshell. Minus the curse words. <laughs> he knows better. Alright, go have fun. Someone lock him in place. Someone lock him in place before he does his, his thing. Eh, too late. How was your special day, Swift? Well, if I'm gonna be blatantly honest with you, my day has actually been pretty shitty. Um, I was a little bit late to work, so there's that. Can you get the hell off me? 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 And we're dead. And it's like only I, only I alive. Like blech. I'm saying only I stayed alive. I think me and like one other person. I didn't check. But yeah, my day has been kind of shitty because um, it wasn't really being late that made me upset because you know sometimes that happens and i already called them to let them know that that was gonna happen holy shit we're actually like dying dying <laughs> oh no oh no hold on a minute oh this is this is a problem dare die on me player Tio Tio don't you dare die on me you are so close kill him kill him kill him thank you <sighs> I'd yell a whole lot louder but I don't want to get in trouble so yeah anyway um the the main problem that I had with today... Oh, by the way, good job for that gold card. Well deserved, by the way. Um, I got pulled over by... Not necessarily the police, but I got pulled over by, like, State Patrol. The ones who, like, you know, monitor... The ones who can give you the... The ones who have the authority to give you a speeding ticket, even though they're not necessarily, like, the county police. And it was literally less than a quarter mile away to work. And I honestly consider that just dumb luck, because I always drive on that route to work at the same exact speed and I've been doing that for two fucking months and then he suddenly just came, he suddenly just came out the blue and hit me with a fucking siren and I'm like oh my fucking god and I'm like oh my god are you fucking kidding me I'm like so fucking close to work what do you want man he was like hey man uh, I see that you were going 15 on a 45 like 15 miles over 45 and for those who drive like a lot 60 miles per hour does not feel like 60 miles per hour. You feel like you're going like 50. It does not feel like you're going 60 miles per hour. It feels like you're going 50. And then you just end up finding out that you're getting pulled over because you're going apparently 60. So, all in all, I got the ticket. My court date is um, in two months. And I'm going to eventually lose $95. I mean, at least it's $95, you know, hey? the worst thing but it's the fact that it happened that pissed me off on on my birthday too and I'm like, like it's one thing to go to work on your birthday but to go to work and get a fucking speeding ticket like oh my god I'll see I mean it's been like many years many it's been many years since I've had my last like you know ticket like speeding like ticket so I will uh, I'll, I'll have to talk with the court I mean, like, like, you know, like the county court or whatever, and it's probably gonna have like maybe like 20 people or, or so, because it, it's they, they're they're used to shit like this. They're like, okay, you get speeding ticket, or I just pay a, just pay this little thing, and then you're free to go. Bye. You know, it's just like one of those kind of things at this at this point. No one really makes a big deal of it, but I do not want any points on my driving record. I am a clean driver, so hopefully, hopefully, um, that goes through. Anyway, um, you can carry this little Seder. 
Um, yeah. Let me see here. I don't really consider that little. I, I, I would consider that acceptable. Oh, wait, you're the same person from the previous parties. I don't even know why I'm giving you this spiel. You were here before. Um, but I do appreciate the follow there. Thank you very much. This was from 21313www.yadayadayada.com. <laughs> Thanks, dude. I'm pretty sure that's player three. Um, oh, who are you, you sexy beast? Get in here. All right, so we got the full ensemble. Speaking of two months, that'll be when I turn 22. Oh, really? Well, happy early birthday to you, Lunex. I know it's gonna. I know it probably would mean more if I told you two months later, but hey, 22, nice. I'll, I'll and here, here's a little hint: whether you turn 28, you, nothing changes in terms of your appearance, your voice. Nothing changes. It's just that you have, you know. In fact, actually, wait, hold on. Nothing changes. There are no, there are no special rights you get if you're 28 versus if you're 22, except like expectations, like what people expect of you at a certain age. But whatever the, whatever they expect of you when you're my age is the same thing they probably expect from you at your age, probably just less. But all good. Um, at least you're older than me by, uh. A year. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I guess you're 27 then. Fun to know. All right. This time, do not go to the academy. Do not go to Reverse Street. Go straight to the bleeding underground fucking passage and get this dub. Because I was so about to. <laughs> I was about to click it. <laughs> All right, let's go. Anyways, with all my things now done, I'm going to get off this and DFO to sleep now. See ya. No problem, Lunex man, and thanks for stopping by once again. I'll talk to you in the guild chat um, about some stuff. <laughs> I'm going to lock you in place. I am dead. Someone pick me up. Thank you.
I like how that, uh, I like how the witch just flopped to the ground right at the end there. By the way, just random question, quality check guys, no one has, no one has complained once about, you know, like, the audio quality of the stream. Is everything at perfect balance? You can hear me, and you can hear the music in perfect harmony. Because I swear I'd be stressing, I'd be overstressing about that crap, I'm like, ugh. Good to know. Thank you very much for confirmation, Tio. We could honestly do a little bit more, but I understand better safe than sorry, you know? Maybe like one more hit. Wow, I didn't even register. Never mind. Could have sworn that registered. Not me. still around I do thank you very much man T.O. come on let's go let's do some more uh who's left I think the satyrs are left right no I did you 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 okay just two more left the two satyrs and I'll start with my middle ground satyr before moving on to the others we are now on part six out of seven
how do you how do, how do I know you have more characters because you always join my raids and you have at least like I think you were able to join all seven of my raids on us on on the single account I'm pretty sure you uh, did that before maybe if I recall Actually, I think we actually need a synergy. We don't need a DPS slash synergy. I think we just need a synergy. Oh, shit. And he's a good character, too. Let me see if I can do some negotiation. Do any of you have a synergy? I never said I was finished. Swift morning, you're up really early. 
well, I mean, on my, in my case, it's 214, but hey, Drinky, what's up, dude? Um, Drinky, good news, I'm going to be probably streaming every single day for this month. Since today is my birthday, and since they also started the uh, season two of the DFO content creator stuff, I'm going to be trying to stream DFO related stuff every day, so... Um, I'll think of some stuff to do for, you know, like two hours and 30 minutes or so, however long I'm going to be freaking streaming. So yeah, just, um, catch me, catch me if you ever, uh, you know, see me. Um, the, the schedule's kind of going to be weird though, because it's either going to be like, like, let, let, let's say, um, oh shit. Okay. So since it's like early early your time i don't really know what time it is for you because i think you're in like a different country um it's 2 15 a.m my time so let, let's let's do some calculations 2 15 a.m my time so by the time it hits maybe like anywhere between 12 p.m 1 p.m that's when i'll probably be streaming like the first round, and then the second round will be when I get back home, which is what you're seeing today. Um, but by the looks of it, I may probably just end up doing going for the ladder. Um, I may just do like raids, like maybe raids on the first half. I may do raids in the first half, and then. Uh, Raids in the first half, and then like two plus two, and then free help slash Q and A in the second half. So what, pretty much whenever you can be able to find me, um, that would be the times that you could be able to, you know, come in. Uh, I feel like I should die. We're not doing as much damage as I thought. Did someone not use their awakening? I did hit everyone with BB, right? Yeah, I did. So what the heck? What the freak gives? And I'm dead. Oh well, it was appropriate. Up too hard because you don't want me to collapse, and I completely understand. And I do thank you very much for that. <sighs> okay, so it's 8:15 your time. Okay, then Drinky, that's good. That means that Drinky, you are exactly six hours ahead of me. So whatever time it is for you, minus that by six hours, and that's what time it is for me. So I'm going to be streaming probably two times a day, maybe. Um between the hours of 11 to 12 p 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. my time and then I would go and stream the second half at like 11 p.m. my time again so do your calculations and just like subtract six out I mean add six hours into all of that um, and then go from there and those are the times that I may be doing said that.
honestly, I've gotten a whole lot more, I've gotten a whole lot of followers, uh, lately, like, I think in, in a single day, I've gotten, like, ten additional followers, five from, five from the first half of the stream, and I think another five from the second half, and I love that. Now, how many of them actually are gonna stay? Who knows? Probably, like, maybe two. <laughs> But I understand, you know, it's DFO, so, like, people have to, like, focus on, um, you know, taking care of this shit. Alright. For this one, I will deliberately do a sword and shield. You are here for the long haul, and you know what? Ugh. Pink Glitter Hearts, your name I'm always going to remember because I'm, I just love these freaking emos. They are just so fucking funny. And they're so cute. You even have the little thing. <laughs> and I accidentally used that move and I did not mean to use that move. Fuck me, Dad. I should probably let Matt know. Matt's Matt's one of my friends who plays League, and he was he wanted he was wanted to get into like streaming as well, because he saw that I streamed this game, and he wanted to get into it. But I should probably let him know that like this, like the whole DFL content creation thing is going down, and I should probably let him know that hey, this is happening. So uh, if he wanted to uh, like tell his people and let him know that I'm doing this thing, then hey, go for it. Alright, now that we have that, we are going to go ahead and go to Reverse Street, Silent Chapel. Ooh, you got your first Golden Goblin? Dude, it's so... F like, when I first did it, I'm like, oh, damn. If you do not have a char If you're not running the Ancient Dungeon on a character who has movement speed, you're not going to get the most out of the Golden Goblin. Because every time you freaking whack him, he just teleports to the other end of the room. Uh... And you have to freaking catch him and hit him again. I find that I find that mechanic to be so funny, but it can also be like frustrating if you don't have a lot of movement speed. And you're on a time limit too. You have 40 seconds to hit him the maximum number of times. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is actually pretty clever. And drinky, yes, I am. I understand too, because I use um, one of my lesser alts to do the that event dungeon, so they can gather some, you know, 100 legendary gear for themselves. It sucks that it, the the time stones are untradeable because I would have easily have given it to my monk, easy, without a second thought. But nope, they are locked to the character who does them, and I'm like, god damn. God damn. So sad. But hey, they may they may be able to pull like a little they may be able to pull like a really like interesting stunt. Like my um like my uh elementalist when she did a guide of wisdom and then she out of nowhere just got a mythic on like her her like ninth or tenth run that just out the blue, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, of all the people to have gotten a fucking mythic, you were not one of the key, you were not one of the people on my mind, at all, but nope, she got it, I can even, I can even show you, I can even show you after we're done with this, just so I can, just so you know I'm not bullshitting, like she actually did get a mythic one time from God of Wisdom, 
and I thought to myself, why? Why you? <laughs> is it because I made is it because I made her look cute in all her like av in her um cash shop avatars? Though I will I will give I will give myself credit though. She has like the she has one of the best looks I have ever seen from a cash shop. Like, nothing is, like, nothing was, you know, from the, something from some event. There, there were no event avatars. These were just all straight from the cash shop, but I just dyed it a certain way. Yes. <laughs> Burst, damn it. Oh, okay, so we had some miscommunication here. I'll gladly die for the cause. I have, like, how many tokens? Like, 73. Tokens are not an object. Like I find it so like cri I find it so cringy. Like here's another random thing, another like random thing I'll talk about. I find it so cringy whenever people want to complain about how many tokens are being fucking used when you have probably have like over 900 because DFO gives them out like candy. Like it would be weird. It would be weird in this day and age if you didn't have like over 50 life tokens. And even then you get three every freaking day. Please kill him. And he's dead. Thank freaking God. I'm out of here. Whew. And it is now 227. Okay. I like that. Yeah, I can definitely get some raids. I can definitely get seven rounds of raids under my belt, even if I were to stream only on at this hour. I don't know, I kind of feel more content streaming at this hour because that gives me more time to sleep. Yeah, you know what, maybe, um, Drinky, don't, don't hold, don't, like, you know, hold it too much. Like, don't, don't hold, what's, what's, what's the phrase? Don't quote me on this. I, and I know I, I literally said it like an hour ago. Why did I forget it? Don't quote me on this. But, I may only stream... Like, I will stream every day, but I'm probably going to stream at this hour. Maybe. Like, there may come, like, some random day, depending on how I feel, that I may just suddenly, you know, stream at, uh, like, in the, uh, early afternoon. Just to get some raids out the way, you know what I'm saying? So, I may just do that. But, more, like, knowing me, more likely than, more, more likely than not, I may just do just the evenings, because I'm, 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 I'm chill with it. I don't like it though that my dad has to keep come, coming up to me and being like, Oh, Chima, I need you to, I need you to stop, I need you to stop talking to that. I'm trying to watch the news. And I'm like, I'm not even talking about it. I'm just using my inside voice. God damn. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see. But I'm thinking that I may just only stream at, you know, this hour, which will be good because it gives me some more Z's and I love sleep. Um, speaking of... Oh, speaking of female Seder, I have her 3A linked to her 2A, so I can use both her 1A and 3A, but should I do the other way? No, you should keep it exactly like that, because keep in mind, and it's, it's similar to the Hecate too, I mean the Hecate, whatever, whatever you want to call it, 
keep in mind though that even if you link like if you link your um like even if you link your 3a to your 2a you can still use your 1a like you can still use your first awakening you feel me like if you're doing like two plus twos or whatever you can still use your first awakening just just for you know global uh clearance and then when you get to the boss then you can use your 3a while your 1a is still like have um while your 1a still has time left you know what i'm saying and then bam you can just get like that extra maybe three three to four seconds of you know double buff uh awakenings that's just me i i personally don't find any reason to link your 3a with your 1a at all because the if you if you're using this for global like if you're using if you're trying to use your 1a for something global it gets the job done you don't even need to waste it by using the 3a and also keep in mind that the female satyr's second awakening it does not extend the time of your first awakening or your third awakening if you have it linked to your 1a so yeah so use her 1a in the room before the boss room then use 3a in the boss room no i'm saying like no i'm saying like um how can i explain this hmm. how can i explain this maybe i should probably like go in, into a party and then you can watch me i could probably do like i could probably get into a party and help someone out real quick who's doing two two plus two buyer 300k what are you like a carry you are not a carry at all so i'm just gonna host my own oh wait hold on i meant to um i meant to show you something this is this is arrows right here or arrows say whatever this is my elementalist this is primates and as you can see from her avatars, everything that she's wearing is from the cash shop. It's just that I dyed everything a particular a particular way. Well, I didn't really dye everything, but I, I dyed some things that she's wearing a particular way. And honestly, I am absolutely pleased with the results. This looks fucking amazing. And I'm like, yes, that is beautiful absolutely beautiful and to let you guys know that i wasn't bullshitting this was the uh mythic that she found in one of her random you know guide of wisdom adventures so yeah 30 minutes until reset uh, yeah i mean i know it's gonna be reset but i didn't really like I, i'm not i'm not i'm not looking at i'm not I'm not thinking about like streaming once the reset happens. I'll probably just do that, you know, later. Um, what should I do? chat right now if you guys have uh someone who's strong and needs to do two plus two expert um let me know and there's tio right there you know what tio i'm just gonna go ahead and add you because we've played we've played um we've played with each other enough times for me for this to be uh for this to be uh, you know like legitimate so yeah My exorcism is low. Pink, pink glitter hearts, come, come on in anyway. I'll, I'll wait for you. I believe Tio can carry. Can't you, Tio? Oh, and don't forget to use your, um, your tarot card so that way you can get like an extra boost so you won't be that, you know, terrible. gladly take I will gladly take the first drawing that they gave me because they gave me Hilder and that's all I care about. Mm -hmm. 
Let me know your IGN. You can just PM me or whatever. We got 25 minutes until reset. Every single one of my characters has finished this except for my redeemer who I need to use and I plan on using her for the event dungeon similar to how I used my in, uh, Neo Inquisitor so uh, she'll definitely be next. Take your time. I like your getup too. What, what exactly are you wearing? So you're wearing Christmas gold hair, chief mate's hat, type C, Serico's ring, Serico's necklace, beach lover's marine tied shirt, chief mate's skirt, nothing on the waist, and Arad runner running shoes. So. Yeah, yours is very, very custom. I like that. That's pretty cool. never froze like this in life. Guessing you're having PC problems, which is why you're not here. The universe doesn't want me to be great. <laughs> I think it's a bit over excessive there, but I'm, I'm sorry to hear about the computer um, freezing there. Like, is it like, is it like really like that bad? I can only imagine how I would feel if this laptop were to suddenly break. God forbid, of course. God, God forbid.
just killed the giant Nugal with burn damage. That's funny. I find that to be pretty hilarious because I know I know what you're talking about too. I did that on my Inquisitor before I could actually like you like I used um I forget what what that move is, but it's just a, a move where she just swings her weapon down and it's just a big like AOE you know attack. Um. And then there's just like a because of the the new level 100 passive when she do, when she does it when it's because of the new level 100 passive when she does it it leaves like you know a pool of flame and I'm thinking it's that flame that killed the new girl I think that's what you're referring to I forget what that move is called though I feel like it's something punishment impeding no it's not impeding punishment it's something Oh, she's only just second awoken. Oh, okay. Is this you? This can't this can't be you. Okay, I thought so. Well, we're still waiting for you, Pink Glitter, so let me just let, just let us know. think of hot chocolate like the the brand nestle interesting because i was looking i was looking at that i was looking at this character in particular and i'm like oh this character looks pretty cute i like the brown hair with the rest of the getup and i'm like oh that's actually you <laughs> nice all right i think we're good now nestle is going to be the one to be the main satyr and i'm just gonna 1a and go from there Two satyrs. It's actually three. It's actually three. Drinking. All three of us are satyrs. Miss Mal <laughs> Miss Malata, Nestle, and myself. We're all satyrs. Yep. So have fun with that. Have fun with that, Tio. No pressure. drinky i just used my 1a but i could still use my 3a at any point just to give the you know that extra boost that little extra boost but there is a difference in terms of like what you get out of um your full buffs like like what you can give to party members 
there's a difference between using your 1A and then your 3A after versus using your 3A and then using your 1A during the animation. Because when you do it that way, <coughs> it, you, in fact, the, the, the description of the, the move description even tells you if you use your 1A while you're uh, in the animation of your 3A, you will automatically cast Valiant Aria, which is what I'm using right here. You will automatically cast that move, um, and it will stay for as long as you're in the animation. So it's to ensure that whenever you got those shit up, that the damage time begins. Like, you need to really, like, get ready and hit them. You feel me? that Seder's buff don't stack with each other. Man, do you know how broken raids would be if that was the case? All you need is literally one carry and all Seder's. And that's not gonna happen. That's not happening. That's, that's just gonna fuck over every synergy ever. Because that, that's gonna apply to raids and that's the first, that's the first thing they're gonna take it. They're gonna take that shit and they're gonna bring it to raids. Three satyrs and either a synergy or a DPS. <clears throat> All right, um, Drinky, I want you to I want you to look because I'm about to show you an example of what happens when you use your 3A and your 1A uh, together in tandem. I'm, I'm gonna do it on the first mini boss. The only thing I want you to pay attention to is just like the buff UIs that are like. Uh, like up here, I want you to pay attention to that and see what pops up when you use it. So here we go. You see that? Valiant Aria was automatically activated because I, I did that. And then the moment it's the moment it ends, then it, it goes away. <clears throat> like the like the moment your 3A ends is when your Valiant Aria goes away. But you can still use your, you know, your regular Valiant Aria. So it doesn't, it doesn't go on cooldown when it's used. It's basically like a free, a free Valiant Aria for the next three seconds before you use your actual Valiant Aria. Like I, I know, I know it sounds fucking confusing, and I, and I hope I'm explaining it. But like, I know like anyone who's new to this game will not understand a fucking clue what I'm talking about. They're like, oh, I just want to look at the pretty damage numbers and look at you guys wreck shit. Like, I get it, but I'm hoping that I'm uh, that I'm explaining it in a way that's understandable. Also, we have 11 minutes left. I didn't realize that. Oh, GZ. smart at buff Seder stuff, but I do understand. Okay, well, well, I, w I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that you're not smart. I just say that, you know, just, just no. Nah, that's all. And there's, and there's no shame in that. I am absolutely beginner friendly on any character, on any subject, but do not ask me shit about lancers, demonic knights, or thieves. Not just because I hate all three of those classes, but because I know sh jack shit about any of them. I know a little bit about agents, though. I mean, um, I, know, I know in terms of agents, I know a little bit about the troubleshooter and the pathfinder, but mainly just the troubleshooter, because they're the most fun. They're all about explosions and shit, and I freaking love it. So there's my free Valiant Aria, and it's gone now. Now it's gone. Like, like it, 
it, it only comes out and appears for like for like four seconds and then it disappears and then you just have to use your your own value are you clip that can someone clip that all three of them got a fucking um, epic all three of them I didn't even notice that one of them got a weight of faith the other one got the deny desire tenacity of life and then someone else got yeah the only one who didn't get a shine was you yeah that's because I already I did all my runs already so I can't get a shine but I've never seen three people get a shine at once and Nestle got the inexorably flowing galaxy unfucking believable That's, that's actually pretty interesting though. I've never seen that happen before. Like I know I know that there are I know I've seen like two people get, you know. Um like I've seen like two people get epics at, at once, but I don't re quite remember seeing people get three. to have I would have loved for there to be a final gold card but hey honestly I give that run overall an A plus honestly an S really because of that that triple freaking uh that triple gold that triple gold card there but yeah that's probably going to be the end of the stream because I have been streaming for pretty much sub three hours and I was not expecting that at all I really thought I was gonna go for like two hours at the most I am so sorry demigod I cannot bring you you have five minutes Whew. man I had fun today honestly streaming today was very fun and entertaining I had a nice you know uh, conversation with the people in the stream Pink Glitter Hearts, I thank you very much for your follow as well as the person who went by the username 21313www, Samatochi, thank you, I have failed this city, <laughs> thank you as well, and Namik, I want to thank, is that five people, one, two, yeah, 
Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five people. So, Namik, I have failed the city, Samatochi, Pink Glitter Hearts, and 21313www.yadayadayada.com. <sighs> Thank you guys so much. And I hope to see all of you again another time. Probably most likely tomorrow. Don't know if it's either going to be the early afternoon or, you know, same time in the evening. Who knows? I'll, uh, go about that. I'll see what I can do. Also, um, would anyone be interested in me, like, creating, like, a Discord or whatever? Because I was thinking, um, I was thinking, like, maybe, oh, thank you, Pink Glitter. You know, you know, you know exactly what you, you know exactly what to say to people when they're content creating. Notifications and all. I like that. Thank you. Um, if you want to make a Discord, then go ahead. Yeah, I should probably do that probably gonna ask one of my guildies real quick like hey how do you make like a discord like an actual like legitimate discord that looks like you know legitimate and not just something that some 12 year old made you know like with like rules and all that stuff but honestly i feel like with my discord there's probably not going to be any rules i just wanted to have some rules so i can look fancy but i probably wouldn't give a shit <laughs> I mean, like, of course, no, no, like, you know, hate speech or anything like that. Like, racism, racism and stuff like that. Yeah, that will not be tolerated. I'm probably just going to ban you. But, a general, you know, Discord. I'm thinking maybe I should do that. It would definitely help out for the people who know, who, like, know me, know me. And they know that I'm always here. Like, like you, Drinky. Like, this is like your, like, I, I don't know how many times you've been here, but you've been here quite a lot, a long time. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe I should probably do that. Uh, I should probably log off and get on uh, her. Oh, shoot, shoot. Oh, shit, I just remembered something. Oh, I just remembered. Fuck. Yeah, my Guide of Wisdom ticket. I gotta use that, like, real fast. Where is it? Yeah, this thing right here. See if I actually get something. Who knows? Nope. Unfortunate. All right. Now my conscience is out of the way, so I'm happy. All right. So back to what I was doing here get on you because when it hits when it hits 3 a.m i have like my set you know daily routine 95 percent of my characters go to this guy because we're here to make a bargain we're gonna buy this shit and this is all for alchemy stuff which i'll talk about you know let's check and talk about it right now basically i try to get enough of these to where i can make enough fp pots to sell in the auction to make money because bottles of wind can like go away like hotcakes like it's so so fucking so it goes away so much yeah you gotta get that thick meat gotta really put the thick, thick meat right there absolutely dragon hearts golden power don't really use them for real I'm just gonna chill right here and actually just wait until it's 3 a.m. and then I'll actually end the stream because that I feel I feel it feels more complete if I do that. Oh wait, oh it is oh it hit 3 a.m. just now. All right, perfect. All right, let's get the ball rolling. This alone takes me like yeah, she fell. You know what? Let's actually let's actually set a timer. Let's see how long this actually takes to do. To get on all of my characters to buy, stop it, to buy all the bottles of wind and raw mana in a somewhat timely fashion. How long does that take? Because I'm thinking, like, it usually takes me, like, five minutes. Like, five minutes. Because it takes a while. And you can tell just by, like, how fast I do all this shit that I'm very quick on, like, everything. I, I do this so much that I just... I know my ins and outs on how to 
do this the quickest way. Why so many alchemists? Because only alchemists can be able to buy this material. If, if I were to be any other profession, if I were to be any other profession, then I could not be able to get these. This, this, this material shop only exists if you are an alchemist. It does not exist for anything else. So that's why. Yep. You can, you can even check. Like, you know how, like, you can go to, like, you know, your regular shop. And then you can go to your profession shops. Which is the shops that's for your profession. And in this case... Every day you can buy 20 raw manas and bottles of wind for white gold, I mean for um, white cube fragments, and I can get those in abundance at any point thanks to the auction hall. So I don't really trip over it, but like I said, bottles of wind are like the end all be all to make anything related to alchemy. Like when I eventually cycle through Clail, I'll show you what I mean. Like you'll see how much material. Uh, how much material comes off to make a single uh, FP pot oh shoot hold on a minute is it, it today's superior day ain't it yes it is yes yes fuck it what, 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 what armor do I use I use cloth give me literally anything just give me something for free awesome yeah Yes. Oh, better not waste any time. Better keep going. Wait, shit! I wasn't paying attention. Did I buy the materials on my on my previous character? I think I did, right? I, I really don't remember. Can someone confirm? skip Kateri because Kateri is not an alchemist. Kateri is my enchanter. She's the one who's responsible for making one of the components of, of uh, FP pots. And that, re and that component requires raw mana to be used, which is why it's important to have a whole lot of alchemists. Because they can all gather up raw mana to the point where it will never become a uh, problem as a resource. Because the less money, the less money you spend on resources to make the shit that actually makes you money, the more money you actually make. If that, if that, if that verbiage made sense. I think it made sense. Yeah, the less, yeah, the less money you spend on materials to make the, to the less money you spend on materials to make the thing that actually makes you money the better your profit, the more money you'll make. So yeah, that made sense. guys get a grand you guys get a grand tour of exactly what I do every time it hits 3 a.m. like this like n I'd never miss a beat this is all this is the only thing I do before I get go to bed oh and before I forget since it's 3 a.m. we'll go ahead and end this go here start that battle and have fun This song that's playing here, this is on my playlist. This is Kingdom in Blue by Kupla. K-U-P-L-A. This is a, such a beautiful ass song, and I love it so much. Oh, you're not you're not an uh, you're not an alchemist, I gotta skip you.
check this out for anyone who's, who's still here. Um, to make a single fatigue potion, which is un undoubtedly the greatest thing you can ever make in terms of money making out of all the list of shit that you can get. The FP pot is the greatest thing because this is basically gasoline for Dungeon Fighter. Everyone gets this. No matter how much, no matter how expensive this thing is, you will buy it every time. If you like min-maxing on this game, you will buy it all the time. I mean, even if it's 30k, even if it's 60k, you'll buy it. Assuming that people don't mark down the price. But yeah, to make a single elixir, you need 20 bottles of wind. You need one color, colorless magical product. You need three essence of experience spirit. This is fucking, this is fucking cancer to stack up. And um, three gold cube fragments. The easiest things of the bunch to get are the colorless magical products and the gold cube fragments. Um, the gold cube fragments are probably the easiest. Then the colorless magical product. Then the bottles of wind. And the essence of experience spirit is probably the hardest thing. Even though an animator can create it, an animator is not good at, you know, giving themselves, like, that material. It's, like, it's super easy to, you know, create bottles of wind. All you have to do is just take your alchemy extractor and extract literally anything, and it'll give you bottles of wind guaranteed. See? Look at that, 119 off the bat. But if I were to be on my summoner, from what I've discovered... The only way for me to guarantee that I get the um, the essence, the um, experience animate spirits, which are the things that you need to make the essence of experience spirit, you need to disassemble rare gear. So, as you can see, on my like many alts, any of them who have like you know rare gear, instead of them dissembling it and wasting the material. I mail it to my summoner so that she can use it for her super critical soul extractor. So here's an example. I'm going to dissemble this, 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 and this. Now if I'm correct, when I dissemble this, I should get nothing but the the required, like I should get like some random, you know, protein oil and then the actual thing I want. So let's see. Yep, there it is. Also, I guess I was wrong. I guess I got some Zoetic Animate Spirit. But this is the important one. The Experience Animate Spirit. Because you take the Experience Animate Spirit. And then you turn that into the Essence of Experience Spirit. Which, by the way, look at that. It requires raw mana. And how do you get raw mana? Through alchemy. Are you seeing how this is all playing into each other do you see now why i do what i <laughs> what i do and why this is the most tedious fucking thing to obtain so yes raw mana i, I don't even worry about raw mana it's just the fact that i can never have enough of this shit like if someone were to mail me like ten thousand of these i would probably give them 10 million to 10 million gold just just as a thank you gift because that's how difficult it is to get this shit like, yeah, it can be obtained through soul extractors, but not every single piece of gear that you make can create it. For some reason, it only comes out if you disassemble rare gear. And rare gear is, as it says, sounds, it's rare. It is not often that you get it, but you do get it. Probably like at least once a day. But it, do, it does sometimes drop in, you know, optimal level dungeons. But it's not as, you know what's the word it's not as consistent so that's why this is not a very consistent thing to get so i usually end up having to buy this material through the auction hall because i'm impatient and i cannot stack that much because like, because like i said making fatigue potions they will eat at your fucking materials a lot very fast Let me see what happens. Let me see what I get if I even. Actually, no, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, let me use some dissembler out here. Just disassemble this. Aggressive kite. Don't care about you. Get out of my inventory. Instinctive. 
reach out do i have you in my safe i do not so you're new i'll keep you yep there you are right there all right um I, I could do some more shit but honestly i think that's about enough i think that's about enough time 11 minutes have already passed so uh Thank you so much for keeping me company throughout this whole thing. If you have anybody in your guild or whatever, or if you, you know, um, like use Reddit a lot, just let them know that I, I'm streaming, you know. Let them know, like, they can catch me if they have any QA questions or whatever. And that I'm just striving to be, you know, DFO's next content creator. And if you saw on my Nightbot there, um, he should probably link my YouTube channel. Yeah, I don't, you don't have to subscribe to that at all, but I just want you to know that for if you, in case you missed anything before you actually got in here, my, all my streams, you know, go straight to the YouTube channel, so in case people wanted to watch it in order from when I first started to, you know, current, it may not be, you know, as entertaining, but I think you'll, you know, find some weird uh, form of enjoyment out of it. I also, I also used to do a lot of editing, um, in the past, but I kind of got a bit lazy on the, on the matter, I will admit, but, uh, yeah, I'm exhausted, a little bit exhausted from talking a lot, but, eh, it's fine. So, I'm gonna head out of here. Pink Glitter, and to anybody else lurking around here, wish you guys a good one. I would turn on my webcam, but it's freaking dark in here, and I don't feel like trying to show off uh, a Cheshire cat looking ass dude on the camera, where you can only see my teeth and nothing else. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm gonna be out of here. Probably gonna eat some food or re-microwave this Burger King or some shit. So yeah, bye great stream rest well thank you so much pink glitter you are such a sweetheart i appreciate it so yeah you guys have a good one and i'll catch you later on today maybe like in the evening today or something i don't know you have the notifications on so you'll you'll, you'll see goodbye goodbye and thanks so much guys for wishing me happy birthday farewell Mwah. love you Later. Woohoo!